Update 2 on post-tropical storm Arlene, which has just turned post-tropical. It was tropical until this point in April 2017, with winds of 50 miles an hour and 995 millibars right now, that is. 39.7 degrees north, 50.1 degrees west, and it's executing a turn towards the southwest at this stage after initially going northwest and then turning uh, under the influence of uh, an extra tropical low that it's interacting with and uh, all sorts of other shenanigans that are going on in the North Atlantic at this time. But the storm is expected to move towards the south, then towards the east over 48 hours, and it could uh, still have tropical storm force winds by 72 hours from now, though it, there remains some doubt that it will ever become tropical or subtropical again in the future. But we'll wait and see. 559 miles south-southeast of St. John's, Newfoundland, 576 miles southeast of St. Pierre Miquelon, and 582 miles southeast of Sable Island, uh, Nova Scotia. No warnings are in effect and CDPS uh, is not available for extratropical cyclones. The system, as you can see, well, you probably can't see very well because there's no land context, but it's moving towards the south and then towards the southeast and then towards the east and any tropical storm force winds that are still um, in relation to the storm will eventually place themselves towards the southwest of the cyclone and then towards the south as it begins to move eastwards um, and then it will probably lose um, any gale force winds by the time we get into Monday at the latest. So. Sea surface temperatures right now are probably warm enough to sustain a tropical cyclone apparently with the new information that we've been received in the last few days because Arlene managed to form over 18 Celsius waters and they're going to be warming up slightly again as the system moves towards the south. And to wind shear, uh, that is pretty variable right now. There's a high amount of wind shear just to the south and southeastern side of the system. And then towards the northwest, wind shear is comparatively very low and then a big slither of very high amounts of wind shear extending in from Canada there. Uh, so this is what's been happening in the last few frames. You can see it's been moving towards the southwest. It's been sweeping along nicely and a big band to the northern side of uh, what's left of Arlene now. Um, but you can see that big system there on the left hand side, that frontal system there, um, and the extratropical low towards the east of the storm as well, or the southeast, which you can just about see moving onto the screen there. Um, Arlene appears to be more stronger than that extratropical low. Um, and that's why it hasn't been absorbed by it, as earlier model runs were saying. Um, and it looks like Arlene will retain its identity for quite some time yet. Elsewhere, we've got this Invest 93W, which is looking a little bit better than it was yesterday. Still moving towards the west-northwest. The island of Chuck Micronesia is off there to the right-hand side of your screen. The very small pink outlined islands. Um, and we've also got Invest 97P in the South Pacific as well, which is also worth a footnote during this video. But there's Invest 93W, not expected to form, uh, though it isn't doing a bad job right now in those latest pictures, and the models do have it um, as a distinguished uh, or a distinctive system, um, at least, over the next few days, but we don't anticipate strengthening. So totals for 2017 then, we're up to 9 tropical storms, 2 category 1s, 1 cat 2, 1 3, 1 4 and 1 5. Much variety in 2017 so far, 1 of each, um, and those numbers are only going to rise, still a way off the averages of course. 41 tropical storms typically form, and 19 category 1s. Uh, total numbers all inclusive, 16 tropical storms or stronger so far. 31 is the next lowest, set by 1900, tied with 1904, but obviously observations weren't so good back then, so it is a slightly uh, less ingenuous. You can visit Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its uh, tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13, all in text if you're not there already, and subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13, and you can also uh, find us on Twitter, at Force 13 is the handle on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, F-O-O-L-1-3, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.